looks like the stream is going. Hi everyone, I'm TigerHawk23, and today we're going to implement Tetris. I've never tried that before. Um, don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, we will see how it works. I don't. I haven't given it any thought as to uh, strategies, uh, functions I'll use, etc. But I'll start with the easy part, the general skeleton. Uh, import tk enter as tk. Import random. Gonna need that. Um, I'll import Pygame for now. We will be using that for audio. Um, I can't think of anything else yet. So, uh, class Tetris needs an init, of course. And that takes self and the parent. And we're, we're gonna have uh, um, equals tk dot tk and we say tetris equals tetris we send it to root and then we do root dot main loop okay easy so far okay um we are going to need i think this is going to be a, a canvas thing making little rectangles on the canvas and flipping them around. Um, we will probably eventually add other things that are standard for Tetris, like uh, the next piece um, preview, um, maybe a score or something. Um, that sort of stuff. I don't know. So let's see. Um, how many blocks across is a Tetris field? I don't know. It doesn't matter yet. Tetris. And this will definitely be something that uh, I don't just spend two hours writing and then run it and see if it works. I'm going to. Uh, the edit compile test cycle, I'm going to do that frequently. So I'm going to have little bits and pieces, test whether this functionality works, and then test whether a little more functionality works. Uh, like for example, my chess game, uh, first I made sure that I could draw the board, and then I made sure that uh, I could click on a, a square and get um, the possible moves highlighted for that piece. And then I would add, you know, displaying piece images and so on and so forth. Very incremental. So, I know that much. Uh, Self.parent equals parent. Um, I don't know whether we'll have a draw board for the new game. Thing. I think it'll all just be in the canvas and we can wipe everything in the canvas if need be. Um, we'll have our canvas equals tk.canvas. Um, and uh, in the root. And then we will uh, grid it. zero, column is zero, okay. Uh, and the reason I don't do this is because if you do that, then um, you create a canvas in the root, and then you grid it, and then the grid method returns none, and self.canvas will then be none from then on. And we will most definitely need this to create a whole bunch of stuff in it. So. We have our canvas. Um, we'll 
probably need some more methods, and by probably, I mean very definitely, 100% chance of needing more methods. Um, um, how about a uh, tick? Tick, tick, like a clock. Um, and I think instead of um, um, doing a quasi-recursive thing, it's not actual recursion doing stuff with with after. I don't usually code in a, a jacket, but it's slightly chilly today. And I was outside, so I have a jacket. Anyway, if you do self.parent.after 1000 self.tick. If you do this, uh, and then you have the same thing over here, this is not recursion. Um, you are calling within tick, you are calling the after method, not the tick method. And so you do tick, and then it's schedule, it uh, does the after method, which schedules a call. And then a thousand milliseconds later, TK enter will call self.tick. So that is not recursion. Okay. And this is going to be tick rate, because that's going to change as the difficulty increases, huh? 1,000, great. Let's, uh, let's move that above here, and then I can be consistent. Okay. So what is this going to do? Um, for now, we'll just print ticking. Let's save that. Uh, not in here. Um, hard drive access time. Uh, Tetris. Okay. I initially thought maybe we would have a, a Tetris console version but I was like no we're, we're not going to do a, a console Tetris we're just not doing that we're not um, I need this thing uh, pi Tetris dot pi show you the ticker window should appear and there's nothing in there and we get ticking every second great fantastic <laughs> so far so good but it doesn't do anything so um height equals let's say uh 800 which equals 400. I don't know. Because it was a, it was kind of a square. So let's do that again. That's a better shape. Will it fit in the thing? It's a little large, isn't it? A little bit. Let's call it, uh, let's make it 600 by 400 for now. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But, uh, I don't know, it, it feels like it should be Tetris-shaped. Vaguely, you know, portrait mode, rectangle sort of thing. The shape should be like Tetris. Um, let's see. And the tick is going to do various things what has to happen 
every every tick in a Tetris game, the current piece has to move down one. Um, oh, there is someone in chat. Uh, random stranger says, "Hey, hey, good to see you again. We're doing uh, we're doing Python. Um, and we're writing Tetris. I have never written Tetris before, so I don't know what I'm doing." Um, Let's see, it has to move the piece down. And this is uh, not connected to whether the user has manually told the piece to move down. So if they take two seconds to press like the down button three times, it will move five spaces down. Two seconds meaning two ticks and three manually. Um, so that's not necessarily connected. Okay, so we'll have to move down the piece. If the piece is at the bottom, it will add that as a move and check for things and then do the next piece. So there will certainly be some kind of um, some method for moving a piece downwards that will be called in the tick automatically as well as uh, by a key press. Um, how, about, um, how about we do that down? I was explaining uh, the not recursive stuff. So this is not recursion, and we're not going to pass other, um, what's it called, other objects in with this, like, I don't know, some sort of state or whatever. We're, we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep track of everything with uh, instance variables. That's what we'll do. Down. Uh, I don't know yet. This is a stub. Uh, left. I could do um, like a, just call a method lateral or something for lateral movement, but um, um, instead of a left and right and just have it pass like negative one or positive one. Um, I don't know. Is that is that better? I suppose there'd be a lot of duplication. I better, I better do that. Okay. Have you noticed that I I keep I keep telling you that I'm gonna just do it a simple way, even though I can see that it's maybe not the best idea, and then I convince myself to do it the right way. Yeah. Um. But I am separating uh, downwards movement and lateral movement because um, if your piece bumps into a wall, left or right, it just bumps into it and can't move anymore. But uh, if it bumps into something uh, downward, then a different thing happens. So it is substantively different. I don't know yet if it will be substantially different, but the substance of what it does and the nature of it is different. Pass. Easy coding. Uh, down, left, and right. Gonna need a direction, obviously. Um, and I think this will be a short-ish stream, maybe half an hour or something. I'm not gonna do a four-hour what's it sort of thing um by the way technically i could skip tk enter entirely and just use pygame but i've never uh done a whole thing in pygame i just use it for audio but uh i've been considering actually learning how to use that one day but not today um, 
let's see down lateral uh, what else has to happen uh, when a piece has settled at the bottom this has to be a pass and uh, a new piece about spawn to spawn a piece um, let's see rotation let's actually put it uh, the movement movement in either direction rotate Okay, um, uh, looks perfect, very Tetris y to me. That is, uh, known as the Tetris music because it's, it was, uh, one of the, uh, one of, I think, two theme songs that shipped with the original Tetris for Game Boy, but um, it is not an OST, as people call it these days, an original soundtrack. It's uh, it's Korobaniki. That's a Russian folk song. It was it was invented in Russia, so they just use, you know, whatever. Um, the equivalent would be uh, someone making a game in America and then I don't know what music I'm gonna have, so how about I just implement like Home on the Range or something, and then you have you know Home on the Range as your soundtrack. Um. So yes, I will be using the actual Tetris music because it's not Tetris music. I'll have my own you know rendition or something. Uh whistling or on the harmonica or whatever, I don't know. Uh, but yes, I do intend to have music and sound effects, etc. It's part of the Tetris experience. It's important. Uh, Random Stranger asks, are you going to provide source code for this? Yes, very well remembered. Um, I mean, obviously I would have the source code here, but uh, it's kind of annoying to go through a, a video and copy down stuff. I have to make a uh, GitHub repository for this that I will update with every stream segment. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, uh, this will be uh, on my GitHub. I'll add that to the description. Uh, I didn't I didn't even think of that, but it should totally be there. Very good. Um, settle, spawn. That's pretty good. Okay. We're going to have pieces. How are we going to implement pieces? Um, uh, maybe, uh, I have no idea. They're going to be child objects on the canvas. Uh, made with create rectangle. I'm gonna have to have some way of rotating them. Uh, let's uh, let's start with maybe drawing some Tetris shapes. Uh, I'll have to store how how will I uh, describe those shapes. Um, um, interesting. How about as 2D lists? Maybe that could be good. And that would be a vaguely 
shape-ish. How, how's that for an idea? Um, Because a like console prompt sort of appearance is a two-dimensional area. Hold it with the two-dimensional list. Sure. And then I can do that. Okay. That's reasonable on the surface. And we will find out if it is reasonable in fact as we write it. Um, uh, shapes. How about a dictionary? Uh, the shapes in Tetris are the S shape and the Z shape. Uh, the I, the square, and the T. Anything else? Am I forgetting any? Oh, the uh, the L and the is it R that it's called? I guess it would be that lowercase R. So S, uh, R. Let's actually have Z first. Z, R, uh, L. Um, how about an O? I'll just have letters for, for this. And uh, I. Is that, is that all of them? I, and then R and L, and then um, the T, and oh, I think that's all of them. Let me, uh, let me check. S, Z, T, did I not put the T in there? I've been mentioning the T over and over again. S, Z, T, L, line mirrored L, mirrored L and square. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Mirrored L. Why don't they just call it R? I don't know. Anyway, um, that is all of them. I googled Tetris shapes, and the uh, Google's little. Sometimes when Google thinks it has like a canonical answer. Or something it'll have in a little box at the top and this box at the top is from zcode.com slash tutorials slash java swing tutorial slash the tetris game so information about tetris shapes is coming from um someone programming tetris in the language they like so that's kind of funny and that is what i'm doing but the first actual Google result is uh, Wikipedia. Tetris, so that's that is more expected. Tetrominoes. Although the Wikipedia page calls them the each shape tetrominoes, and then later tetriminoes. Like in the next sentence, tetriminoes are this. Shaped like tetrominoes. Oh, tetrominoes is the shape, the actual, the mathematical term for them. But it's Tetris, so they call them tetrominoes. Okay, then. Anyway, anyway, where am I? Here, this, there, okay. Um, T. I don't know yet what they're going to look like. Uh, they're going to be uh, 2D lists, yes. Um, uh, something, something, etc. 
That's a good skeleton. Great. And I need a comma after each of those, actually. And then here we have this. There, I like to have them lined up all nice and tidy. Very good. All right. Um, you might say that it's better to have these shapes in an external file because this is uh, data instead of logic. So maybe it should be somewhere else in another file that you can, you know, modify, etc. But it's Tetris. There are no other possible shapes with four blocks. And we're not going to have three blocks. And we're not going to have five blocks. It's Tetris. So this is what it's going to be. There are versions of Tetris-like stuff with different shapes and like diagonal what's-its. Um, we're not going to do that because that is not Tetris. And Tetris is uh, the quintessential um, electronic puzzle game. So, how about... Um, we will have a string with a character in it to denote a square in that location and an empty string to denote nothing in that location. So an S is um, empty string, something, and then something, and something, and we need a new list of something and nothing. All right, so we have, you know, here and here and here, and that's, is that, is that the S shape? No, that's a Z shape, I believe. Yeah, that's a Z. I'm incorrect. Okay, I think that's an S. If I kind of tilt my head to the left, I can see the S shape. Very good. And Z will be something like this, except how we had it before. And that's Z. And R, uh, that is going to be uh, also three tall, so let's copy that again. It's going to be two things in here, and this is going to be empty. Okay, so there's our lowercase r, and let's get an L in there. So it's empty here, empty here, and we've got something there, and there's our, goes down to the right, there's our L. Um, and our O is going to be this, and this, and that, and that. Very good. And the I is going to be four of these. One, two, three, four. And the T is going to be three of them with empty something and empty. All right, uh, very good, beautiful. Those are our representations of the shapes. We've been going for about half an hour. Um, maybe this should be it for today. So we've got uh, some idea of how we're going to represent our objects in the game. And um, uh, 
uh, some method stubs. Looks reasonable so far for now. Um, and I will put this on GitHub. I will have to remember how to make a new repository. I think I can. I think I can do that. Um, and then I will add this there and put a link in the description for the archived video. Um, let's see. Let's see. The important part is that we have plans. Now, we have plans. Uh, lateral, rotate, maybe it should be a shift, shift, or maybe a pan, and tilt, no, I don't know. Um, sideways, move, move is probably too generic shift. Lateral was probably the most descriptive. Lateral, lateral move. Uh, how about how about shift? That's fine, I think. Shift, rotate, uh, settle at the bottom, spawn a new piece, um, and we have tick, and every tick will we'll call the down method, and uh, the down method will check if it's settled. And the settle method will settle something and check everything, and then spawn a piece. Okay. Cool. Um, I think, let me just add those self dot down. Uh, I don't really have a condition to check those. So let's just, let's leave that for later. Okay. It will move it down and then the down method will check whether it's at the bottom. And if it is, it will call settle, which will take care of things and check if it's a Tetris. Uh, I will need a method to clear lines and a method for losing and having a new game, etc. Kind of important. New. Uh, lose. Don't need a method for winning because Tetris uh, continues until you lose. Uh, Pass clear. Okay. Okay. And pass. Valid Python syntax. Good. Okay. That is going to be the stream for today. Uh, tomorrow I will be doing a game of some kind. I don't know if I'll be doing alternating Python and gaming streams still every other day. Uh, I might go a couple days gaming and then do this. Uh, who knows? Whatever I feel like. So uh, that is the stream for today. Thanks for thanks for watching, and uh, thanks Random Stranger for joining me in chat. And uh, I will post this on GitHub so you can follow along with the builds if you like. It doesn't do very much yet, but one day, one day it will. Uh, thanks again, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.